Hello, today we'll be making a uh, Luna Felted Scarf um, and we'll be using some wool and some silk I prepared. So I colored my own silk, which is going to match the color of the um, wool rolling. Um, then I'm going to use some um, fibers, which is going to be give a little texture. To my scarf, this is um, viscose and some silk. Um, and then I'll be using some water. This is a dishwashing liquid, um, some vinegar, uh, and water bottle. Simple water bottle, which I make a hole in the top and you can uh, spray your liquid, soap liquid right on your scarf. Or you can use more professional ways, so it's just like a shower with um, your scarf. Also, we'll be using some um, organza fabric. In this case, it's a net. Um, you can buy it in any store. I'm, I'm going to be using the big long one to cover the whole entire scarf. It's pretty long. Um, I'll be using old towel. Um, also, we need um, shelf lining, which I bought in Ikea. It has a little texture in that, so it's helped to wool bind better. Um, another thing, we'll be using a little tub just to wash your fabric, um, your red scarf in, or you can use the sink. Um, you just have to add a little bit of vinegar to it. Um, this is pretty much it, so we can begin the scarf. So, roughly, as you see, the width of the scarf is this big, so the wool should be spreading. And if you want to fringe at the end, so you'll be needing probably this much, I would say like maybe four inches in the end, just for the fringe. And if you don't want to fringe, you can spread this wool for the length of the scarf. So keep working now. Let's like see this like this point. You just keep opening and very gently stretching. Of your scarf. So just keep adding it right in between, kind of closing the gaps and I'm using some natural color and I'm going to use some white viscose just to give a little bit of uh, accent. I'm putting it in the places where I see that it's a little opening, slow gaps between the fibers. long net so I can cover the whole entire scarf just like this and the whole entire length of it. After we cover the whole scarf, uh, we need to take a soapy water. I would add, on this kind of bottle, I would add um, two big squirts of um, um, dish soap um, and see I'm working the surface I'm just gonna wet it very evenly everywhere and at the same time I'll be using the sponge uh, this kind of sponge and I'm just gonna very gently press to make sure that water goes right through the wool and, and soap We'll be using our hands and see I'm wearing gloves and we'll be like kind of smoothing the surface of your scarf. But you know, I use gloves because it goes a little smoother than your hands, so you're not gonna pick up any fibers with the movement. So after you're done with that. We will be very gently 
lifting the net. So you want to make sure that all the fibers, you don't pick it up. So you use one hand, then with another one, very carefully remove the net off. And that's where you can look um, the size of your squat. So to make the fibers connect even better, we will be using some bubble wrap. And I will be using, uh, and we put the bubble wrap bubbles down. And I'll be using this uh, machine, which is like a sand machine. Put it on the low speed so the your fiber is not going to fly all over the room. <laughs> and I will be pressing it against the bubble wrap so the traction between machine and bubble wrap will be more tension so the fibers get uh, connected better. So after we finish um, sanding, <laughs> our scarf with this machine uh, without bubble. And you would find out that you may have um, a lot of soap on, uh, uh, soap on, the, on the surface. So uh, uh, make sure you go a um, few directions very, you know, and at the same time, you can just um, even it up the border, which is um, connecting, you know, the, leaving the fabric is out so that that line will be pretty straight. So you can fix it with just using your fingers and uh, straighten a little bit that line. Um, you can scooping motions like this. And I think it's too much soap in here, so I'm gonna just wash it off a little bit. You see, it's a lot of soap on here. So, get rid of this soap. And then, here's the key. And you always have your towel handy because you maybe can get a little messy out here. Well, see, I, I um, actually. You don't have to be perfectly straight, it can be like free line, but still that part should be strong. So now when it's all done, we're gonna use a little vinegar. Just gonna add a little vinegar to your water. Water is pretty warm uh, because we want to make sure that um, uh, scarf is keep uh, settle it down because the hot water help felt also to combine a little better. So now I'm taking excess of the whatever um, soap is left. Make sure the fringe is not um, connected to its part itself. And we're going to try to connect it up. 